volunteering at ZH Dog Conservation is a total life-changing experience. It's about real people that's making a difference with their compassion and the sacrifice that they do for these animals. It's all about the animals by us. Animals always comes first. It's such a privilege to work with these animals and to come close to them and to see them and to learn their behavior, to be able to feed them, to prepare food for them, to clean their camps, to see what did they eat, what did they leave. It's absolutely the only place in the world where you will get people that's so loving and caring. But let's go and see. Let's go and see what, what you guys do when you visit here. Our days start with our volunteer meeting where we discuss the plans for the day ahead, the tasks that need to be done, and any animal news. After the meeting, we go to lion side or cheetah side, depending on which team we are on. Lion side team spends the next two hours cleaning the animals' enclosures. We clean water bowls, poop scoop, and collect any leftover bones and feathers. In the small cat enclosures, we clean around the animals. Sometimes they are still in bed sleeping, running around and playing, or even following the volunteers around to say hello and make sure they are doing a good job. After we are done cleaning the small cat's enclosures, we move down to the lower bit of the farm, where the leopards are locked in a section of the enclosure while we clean the empty sections, then swapped around so we can clean the rest of the enclosure. The lion and tiger enclosures are cleaned separately during feeding time, but every morning we check that their water bowls are clean and fresh and collect any discarded bones in the feeding camps. After all of the cleaning is done, we check the perimeter fences of the big cats and wish them a good morning. Meanwhile, cheetah team are busy in the meat room, preparing the food for the 28 different cheetahs. Each cheetah has a specially prepared meal according to their health, age, and weight. We load the food onto a pickup truck and drive to the animals. The cheetahs usually hear the vehicle approaching and are normally all ready and waiting by the fence. We then unload the bulls and begin feeding our cheetahs one at a time with the help of our staff members. This sometimes includes giving certain animals their required medication as we closely monitor their behavior and strive to ensure all our animals' health. The cheetah side team return to the meat room and help with the washing up and cleaning afterwards. Group activity then begins at 10 a.m. Every day, the group activity can be different depending on what the day's priority is and involves all of the volunteers and staff working together to complete a task or project. Group activities can include cleaning two dot cams like you can see right now, where we walk in lines to be most efficient. They can also involve general farm work that needs doing, like digging trenches to add water pipes, building shade structures, or creating enrichment for the animals. At lunchtime, we then head back to the restaurant at the Volunteer Village to eat and refresh for the afternoon ahead, which usually continues with another group activity at 1.30 p.m. Here, for example, we removed the weeds in one of our cheetah's camps, and again, she decided to pay us a visit, which provides us with extra motivation to make the animals' lives as best as we possibly can. Last but not least, we feed our lion-side animals in the afternoon at roughly 3.30 p.m. and try to make it as fun as possible by hiding their food in the trees for enrichment, like with Cosmo right here. Our biggest cats are fed three times a week, so their meals are large. This time, however, they only got a snack for enrichment. Finally, after feeding, we return to the meat room to help clean and then have the rest of the afternoon free to spend time with the animals before we head home to the volunteer village where we can relax by the pool, go out for dinner, or toast marshmallows by the fire. Thank you for your interest in our conservation project. We hope to have you join our team very soon.